front where it says Ames real big. All right, everyone, I'm out here in Conneaut today. It's been a long time since I've been out to this town. Came out here just for the fun of it and stopped at the Conneaut uh, Railroad Museum, which has a nickel plate road steam locomotive, a Berkshire, sitting there on display. It's beautiful. And caught a couple trains over there. And I was just riding along, and I found this old store that took me quite a minute to find out what it was. It's been abandoned for numerous years, and I found out it was a Fisher's Big Wheel, which was a department store chain. Uh, we had a couple in the Pittsburgh area as well. They were around this area in Ohio and Pennsylvania, and this closed in 1994, and there's a lot of stuff in there, in the doorways, and through pictures that my friend Nick has on Flickr, uh, appears that the Save-A-Lot uh, grocery store, which is on the other side of the plaza, put things in here like they were using it for storage at one point now the save a lot is updated it looks very nice compared to what older ones look like and obviously this so i'm curious to see what it looks like through the windows it's pretty dirty looking there's mold on the outside of the building a little bit and uh things i see inside look like they've definitely been damaged by water so it tells me it's been closed a long time so let's get out of the car Check it out, see what we can find. Well, there you have it. Looking at uh, Street View for Google, it showed this place being empty as far back as 2008. And the Street View images for here aren't as uh, numerous as they are for other areas every few years or so. But it looks like this hasn't had anything in it in quite a while, and it shows... A lot of the signs are piled up against that door. Stuff looks absolutely disgusting like that. Uh, you see all the mold and water damage on these things. And, wow, it's a mess in there. I can smell the mold like crazy. And save a lot trash. Yeah, th th that signage is relatively new. Yeah, decor remodel kit. So yeah, they were putting things in here, and that's that logo on the trash there, that's relatively new. Save a lot. That's their newer design. That doesn't look dirty at all, the Starburst sign. There's a lot of stuff back there too, wrapped up. It's like it's a stock room, but in here it smells so moldy. Oh yeah, it's a warehouse for them for sure. Look at all the cash registers. It smells so moldy here though. It's crazy how bad it stinks. And there's product in there that I'm assuming save a lot sells. Oh my god, the mold is crazy. It smells so bad. And they're storing things in here. Yeah, there's pallets of paper towels and stuff. Chef Boyardee. Oh my gosh, they really do. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. Sure, if it's pre-packaged, okay, I'm sure it's fine, but... I don't know, it stinks. It smells like a couple of those aims that I've done in the past, like the one in New Jersey, it, where it was just intense. I mean, look at this. And they're storing things in here? Yeah, look at that. There's the old Save-A-Lot signage. Just piled it up against the door. God forbid the rest of the store is like this. Yeah, look at that. They really do use it for Save-A-Lot. Or they did. Train. I've had I've heard a lot of trains up here today. 
got a KCS leader though at the museum, which I thought was really awesome. Pumpkin. There's a box where they put pumpkins in. Oh boy. That, or maybe they used it and they gave up, and that's just all stock that never sold. It doesn't look like it though. Let's take a walk. Be curious to see what the back side of the store looks like then. The exit sign was on in there. The ceiling tile has been removed. What in the heck is this? The Volkswagen logo? CSX tracks are very close to here, by the way. It's moldy in here, too. There's a pallet jack in there. Looks like work was being done in here. Anyway, that was weird. Take a walk to the back. Looks like it goes right into the grocery store. Well, <laughs> the Fisher's Big Wheel, where their stuff stored. And it looked like that door might have been unlocked too, but I don't really know. I don't really want to push that in case it is being used. That train's roaring. It's a nice day out. It's overcast, but it, it's nice and comfortable temperature-wise. And th this is just... The amount of graffiti is just ridiculous. It's clearly used, though. The exit signs are still lit. That, that the smell of that mold is it's it's worse it's like some of the worst I've ever smelt my god with the graffiti now those trailers look awfully old so I wonder how long those have been sitting there from the sounds of that train it sounded like an eastbound heading towards Erie Overall, it doesn't really look to be that bad, but I don't, like these garage doors don't look very old. They're just covered in graffiti. There is a camera, so they definitely watch this place. I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm not really digging the stuff being stored in a moldy store like that. And that's it. Fisher's ends here. These trailers have been here for some time, though. These tires look dry rotted like crazy. I mean, they all still got air in them. <laughs> but they're definitely... They've been on there a while. And then these are the other businesses in the shopping center. Yeah, they've been there a while. Anyway, that was weird. I don't know. I've, I, I'm, I'm questioning this. I guess it's not really abandoned, but it kind of is. I guess they store product in there. How do they get it? I, do they come up to these doors here? Or? I don't want to know. Or is, has that stuff been in there for so long? Uh, untouched. I do not know. And a save a lot is here, so I, I would want to assume that they do use it. They probably go through here. Probably go through another door and come over here and get their overstock, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, and you know with the with the camera up it obviously they watch over it. That's why I didn't want to tr check any doors or try anything just in case. I don't want to set any alarms off or get in trouble. You know, you know, because you know, when I do check out abandoned places, I do it with the utmost respect, and I'm not there to cause any harm. But it looks like this is being used, so I don't really know. But I thought it'd be cool to check this out because this was a Fisher's Big Wheel, which was a department store. 
Uh, I was never in one. They went out, you know, when I was very young, so I don't really remember them. Wow, I just saw a Jeep Comanche go by. That's the second one this weekend. <laughs> Old 90s, late 80s Jeep Comanche. It was the pickup truck version of a Jeep Cherokee. Anyway, this was cool checking this out. But that pallet jack in there makes me think they go through. Oh, you know what? That, that makes me think. There was a pallet jack in there and some things in a doorway that went into the building. So they probably come through here, take it out, and then down the front. Maybe, if assuming they use it. No, because there's plants growing in front of the doors. So, I don't know. This was weird. I'll give you one last look of it, though. Yeah, those doors haven't been open in some time. Snap on. So it was something to do with cars and Volkswagen. There, I don't know what the deal was or why they were facing inside instead of out. I don't know. If you guys know anything about this place, maybe you could shed some light on it. It's filthy up here. And, uh, my gosh. If they do sell any of the stuff that's in here. I hate to think what condition it's in. There's boxes there that said farm fresh eggs. I hope they just re reuse those for something else. Now, I just, I'd be curious to know what the dates are on things. Because that would be a big answer. This here says... 10 2015 50 pound bag of calcium chloride so now I don't know oh it stinks in there you can't really see the dates on anything else so I don't know Merry Christmas. I didn't even notice that. Look at those, though. Thank you. Call again. The Kansas Chef Boy RD. I'd be, like, I would be dying to find out what the dates are on those. Oh, well. Uh, that's just weird. All that old junk up by the front entrance, and then you got pallets and pallets of stuff throughout the whole building. And the lights are relatively new, too, from the ceiling. Like I said, the tile was all gone, and the lights were relatively newer. So, I don't know. If you do, please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. But I'm signing off for now. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was a weird one, but I hope you enjoyed it. With that said, take care and stay awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.